Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video Sibri Muslim and today I'm back with another tutorial on Hackintosh so basically this tutorial is going to be on how to update your Hackintosh to 10.13.2 and so this one is the hardest update ever so it's not like uh, as hard as updating to a new OS version but it's way too hard for a normal update so basically you have to do uh, four to five different steps to get this update working and before proceeding for the update do back up your drive do back up your boot drive so in the end you don't end up with a crashed OS X or a crashed Hackintosh so let's start the first steps you have to do is you have to download new fake SMC new apfs.efi file and new lilu.kex if using this and if you're using the nvidia boot fix uh, kex or amd boot fix kex or green fix kex then do repaste that kex as well so the second step is you better download the update from the apple.com instead of updating from app store you can always update from app store but it's better to update from website instead of the app store and you can get uh, that on the website so you can just download that and after downloading it what you have to do is open your clover configurator and in clover configurator you have to mount your boot drive go here mount your boot drive open the drive go to the efi clover and in here driver 64 uefi copy the apple or apfs.efi or apple file system.efi file and go back go to 10.13 and copy these both text here and go back and copy these text in others as well it prevent crash on many systems so it's better to copy these kex here and after copying these files you have to download the latest clever bootloader which is right now which is clever 4318 and you have to install this you have to continue continue customize and here you have to install rc script on target volume and all other boot volume do click both of these and then install it and after installing this you have to do the most important part and that part saves you from that holy moly error by which i mean that install os dot package or mkpg is missing the weird annoying message about os install dot mpkg is damaged or missing will occur if you did not remove that file so what you have to do is to go to home and mount your drive check if it's mounted and in drivers here remove this emu variable dot uefi remove this and then you have to have to close this and you have to install it from the downloaded package 